Welcome back to the second channel, everybody. Hope you guys had a fun and safe new year and are keeping to your new year's resolutions. Personally, I'm going into this new year a little bit different. We had a theme at our new year's get together. It was like celebrities of 2021. So Laura and I were Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. So that's why I have tattoos on my arm. They're not real. I didn't really get a tattoo of a, a wolf's face and a giant flower, okay? So don't ask, they're not real. All right, well, I'd say it's about time for another Reddit video, guys. What do you say? The last one I did was over a month ago. Whoops, I did not mean to go that long without doing another one, but here we are. There's been a lot of activity on the subreddit since that video. We've got 40,000 members in the subreddit now. And I've seen a lot of interesting posts. This is the very top post. It says, guys, I saw Danny today. And it's a picture of Danny DeVito walking a sweet little dog in a tutu. Okay, that's not me. These are gonna be some good posts this week, dude. I can feel it. Okay, let's see what the comments are. Oh, he's wearing such a nice dress. Oh, they think I'm the dog. This person tagged a subreddit called Technically the Truth. I guess it's technically true. They didn't say Danny Gonzalez. I just, I just saw Danny today. He is so small. He is a small little guy. All all right, let's see if there's any posts about like me or my videos or anything. Okay, this one's about me. Oh, this is a fun post. Look at this. All right, I saw Danny last night at Curtis's show. Yeah, that's me. Last month I went to go see Curtis. He was, he was on tour and he had shows in New York and he wasn't coming to Chicago at all on the tour and I was like, I wanna come see you. So I decided to go to the New York shows. We had a lot of fun. I got to hang out with Curtis and, his, uh, and Jacob and Dean and our friend Jake and Jenna. They all sort of like pressured me to go on stage at the very end. Cause I guess Jacob and Dean were opening for Curtis. Curtis. And so they were gonna go on stage at the end of the show and they were like Danny you should come with even though like nobody knew I was there <laughs> And also Curtis was on stage at the time So he wasn't there to be like yeah, that'd be funny So I was like I don't really know if Curtis will want me to do that But then Jenna was like you should do it and so I said okay and I went up on stage and Not to toot my own horn, but people went kind of crazy it was actually pretty wild I think people were surprised to see me so it was really cool and Jacob did twerk on me so that was kind of a highlight of the trip. They are both staring directly at you. Literally was so honored. I do remember doing this. There was one person in the front row who was holding up a phone to take a picture of me. So I did go like that for the picture. The fuck you do to them? What does that mean? Do we look pissed or something? I guess we do kind of look like, what the hell are you, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I forgot this, per the person who took this picture was wearing something super offensive. So we were both kind of stunned and, and too shocked to speak. This is the Danniest pic of Danny there is. Yeah, I, I think I'd agree with that. I'd say everything is pretty Danny right here. How does Danny keep getting younger with time? What's his secret? It's weird that someone brought that up for this picture that took place in New York. I had a, a super weird thing happen to me. This happens sometimes to me and it's kind of annoying honestly. We were checking into the hotel in New York, Laura and I, and I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Home Alone Lost in New York, but basically Kevin is a little kid and he's staying in a hotel by himself and all the hotel staff is very suspicious of him. And like the same thing like happened to me when I, we were checking into the hotel. There was like the lady checking us in and then uh, the manager of the hotel like standing over her shoulder and he just like kept staring at me and saying the same thing over and over. He just kept saying, you look so young. And I was like, thanks. Actually, I have some, I have gray hairs. I don't really feel that young but thank you and he said yeah you just you look really young it felt like he was trying to get me to like admit to something like oh well that's because I'm 12 years old I stole my dad's credit card and I'm staying at this hotel by myself with my 12 year old girlfriend but anyway just kind of a fun little thing that happened on that trip if Danny and Drew had a child oh no Oh God, that's so weird. That does look like a mix between me and Drew. I've seen a YouTube channel before of someone deep faking my face onto Drew's and Drew's face onto mine. And it's very uncanny, very disturbing. Danny says, well, goodbye gents before running and flying away into the sky like a bird. Ah, yes, this is a clip of one of my old YouTube videos. Baxter Wittenberg. Well, goodbye gents. <laughs> Honestly, that's some pretty solid visual effects work right there. You see that? No green screen or nothing. The camera's moving. Well, goodbye, and I just fly oh. off into the distance. That's pretty good. I was a bit of a VFX prodigy in my day. Yeah, these were weird ass videos for sure. There's a series of videos on YouTube about Baxter Wittenberg, this, this character and his adventure with these two guys who are actually my brother and are really good friends. And they're very weird. So if you find them and you watch them, just know that I also think that they're odd. Meet Danny Gonzalez, leader of the Army of Meg. I like that they made me a girl and then like the only real thing they changed about the room, aside from changing the name to Meg, was like, well, a girl wouldn't have a nutcracker in the background. They wouldn't have a little toy soldier decoration. What do girls like? Uh, ballerinas. Everyone knows girls like ballerinas and boys like nutcrackers. Oh, wait. Is it because the Nutcracker is like a ballet? Isn't the Nutcracker like a musical ballet theater thing? Is that 
Is that what's going on here? I'm just trying to understand the parallel between the Nutcracker and a ballet dancer. The ballet dancer was a nice touch, this person says, but no explanation as to why. <laughs> That's every mom in a Pixar film. I guess it makes sense that if you made me look like a girl, instead of looking like every man in a Pixar film, I would look like every woman in a Pixar film. Okay, Grandpa Danny looking absolutely fresh as hell in an Adidas hoodie. Let me tell you about the good old days of Vine. Yeah, every time I talk about Vine to someone now, I have to be like, Vine, do you remember that? Do you, did you know what that is? Because it just feels like so long ago. And I feel like some people who are now like almost adults might have been too young to even be on Vine when it was like a thing, which is very strange. Granny. That's funny. Grandpa Danny is granny. No fucking joke, this kinda looks like my grandma. What the fuck, dude? That is clearly an old man. This is a ma this is an old man. This does not look like a grandma. Actually kinda looks like my grandma. Aw, he looks so cute, lol. Not he will look so cute. I like that it's like a conditional. Aw, he would look so cute if he ever got that old. We all know Danny's gonna die in his late 30s. Poor sap. Danny says goodbye, gents, and then disappears out of existence. Oh, it's another video from Baxter Wittenberg. Let's go. Well, goodbye, gents. Oh. Okay, the effects on this one are, are not quite as good. I remember I shot this part in front of a green screen. You can kind of tell the edges are a little fuzzy if you watch my cheek right here. Yeah, it's a little wonky. Whoops, what are you gonna do? Spy Danny, okay, that's just a picture from one of my videos. That's just a picture of me. What is all this just posting pictures of me? Can we get some memes maybe? Can we get some new, can we get some fresh new jokes in the, in the, in the subreddit? I, I, some, uh, <coughs> some fan art. I guess there's, there's been some art. Never mind. I'll take it back. The whole sculpture made from scratch using chocolate with every little detail. Okay, what is this gonna be? Okay. It's a big piece of chocolate. Now it's a white piece of chocolate. Now it's a red piece of chocolate. Now it's a tube of chocolate. What's he gonna make? Okay, I'm just gonna skip forward, Jesus. Oh, he's making boots. Oh, God damn, what is he? Oh shit, dude. <gasps> a chocolate nutcracker. Cool. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I have to pretend to be a little bit more into Nutcrackers than I am. Danny, is this accurate? We need answers. Okay, it looks like someone asked Siri who Danny Gonzalez is, and it comes up with this. Danny Gonzalez, sir, electrician and influencer. Country of citizenship, Kazakhstan? Who is Danny Gonzalez? Brought up my contact in my phone for myself. That's not helpful. I can't Google my name. I can't. Let me just see if I Google myself. Danny Gonzalez. Okay, it says I'm 27 years old. That is correct. 5'11", that is not correct. I'm 5'10". Danny Gonzalez, Kazakhstan. Okay, the first thing that comes up is a LinkedIn profile for an airline captain. Okay, so this guy, Daniel Gonzalez, has worked in Kazakhstan. So maybe Siri thinks that we're the same person. Didn't it also say electrician? I don't know where the hell Siri is getting her information from. It says from Wikipedia. Okay, let's look at my Wikipedia. It doesn't even have like country of citizenship on here. But it does have a lot of information about me. Let's see, wow. Comedian, gamer, and musician. Damn, I never thought my occupation on my Wikipedia page would say gamer. That's kind of crazy. Play Minecraft on Twitch for a couple months and you're a professional gamer. And that is your job. Let's see if it's got any spicy info on here. He is associated with fellow YouTube comedians Drew Good and Curtis Connor and Cody Co. Gonzalez attended Wheaton North High School where he was on the school's speech team. He went to Georgia Tech, he married Laura, and uh, that's about it. You guys aren't very good at stalking me. Can we get some personal information on the Wikipedia page, please? I'm talking my address. I'm talking my blood type. Not actually. Please don't put any of my personal information on there. I wonder if I, can I edit my own Wikipedia page, do you think? And then for the references, just put I am him. Oh, there's categories that I'm in in the bottom. 1994 births, living people, American male comedians, Vine celebrities. That's just a straight up list of Vine celebrities. Wow. I forgot like half of these people existed. Nash Greer and Hayes Greer. I wonder what they're up to these days. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. All right, some fan art. That's very nice. How'd they do it? Yo, the pony up daddy. Kind of sad that I never bought one of these to test it out for myself, but I feel like the excitement for that has come and gone, but that would be pretty fun to get one of these. Just ride some somebody around. I was gonna say, I feel like it'd be a funny video if I sort of, if I tested out the pony up daddy, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, who would I get to be the daddy in this situation? Situation. Like who could I invite over for me to ride them around? Just seems kind of mean to get anyone involved in this in that video <laughs> I guess I could be the daddy and someone could pony me up and ride me around But that's also seems weird to be like hey Do you want to come film a YouTube video over at my house? And then they get there and they're like so what are we doing commentary on? 
And I'm like, you're not doing commentary on anything. You're riding on me. You're riding on my back. You're gonna do commentary on how good of a horsey I am. <laughs> Ew. So, uh, I guess Ratatouing fanfic is a thing. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm planning to. Oh, shit. There's Ratatouing fanfic? And they have, like, a surprising amount of views. 600 views, 1,000 views. The Fault in Our Cheese. People are tagging me. People are tagging my username. People finally know... Oh, wait. This one's spelled wrong. I kind of want to look those up. What is that website called again? Whatpad. Okay. Ratatouing. Show me the money, dude. There are several. Ratatouing Greg and Marcel. The Fault in Our Cheese. Ratatouing Cat and God? Dude, what are these about? Greg and Marcel want to fuck. Also, Carol is an onion sometimes? What? Dude, wh who is writing these? All right, let's read the one where where Marcel is apparently going to get with the reader. Hopefully this isn't too long. Let's see. You see him, Marcel, walk into class like you saw and shit down. He look at you and smile. Hello, Danny. How is you? You bloosh and answer. Good. He shackle. That is good. He wink at you and you walk away. Okay, this is this is just hogwash. What is this? I guess I can't be sure that this person is even like a fan of me. They might have come across Ratatouing somewhere else, but I feel like this person might be trying to do the same thing that was so funny about the fanfic of me and Drew, where it's just like so poorly written. But this one is is like incomprehensible. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think I can read that, man. It's unreadable. You've written an unreadable story. If you want me to read your story about a cartoon mouse trying to get with me, at least use autocorrect, please. This person got notified like 10 times about my video. I wonder why that happened. And can I make it happen for everyone next time I post a video? Danny's biggest hater. Drink a bucket of bleach or date Danny Gonzalez again? Okay, a kind of a funny thing happened with this guy. I don't know if you remember this guy from one of my last videos, but he just keeps like, making up these funny stories about how we like used to know celebrities and stuff like that. And so I made a video about him and then he made a video doing the same thing to me. It's not this, this is Photoshop. Whoever posted this, Photoshop this. But he made some video being like, Danny made this video about me and the only reason he made it is because a few years ago we used to be really good friends and then he came on to me and confessed his feelings to me and I turned him down. And then he also made a video about me saying that my video was funny, but he also said that like me and my fans don't understand what satire is because he's just doing satire. Even though in my video like multiple times I say, this is just satire. He says he's just doing satire. So anyway, when he posted this video about this story about me confessing my feelings towards him. I commented on his post, the ultimate clap back. Not really clap back. I just thought it was a funny joke. I commented back something like, yeah, when I confessed my feelings for you, that was just satire, dude. It was pretty funny. It was a good callback. And then you know what he did? He deleted the video. So now nobody can see that I had such a funny line. I'm actually not really sure why he deleted it. It was kind of, it, I mean, it was a funny video. It was honestly like a good retort to my video, just being like, oh, fine, I'll do the same thing to you. But for some reason he deleted it and we'll never know why. That does look like me. That's pretty good. Okay, we might be getting to, we might be getting to the end of the cream of the crop here. All right, I'm gonna switch to hot and see what's hot right now. What are people saying about me in the moment, dude? Let's see what the conversation is all about. Danny flipping us off. <laughs> nice, dude. Another picture of me. Wow, he's such a gentleman. <laughs> I guess yeah, I guess that is sort of a, a gentlemanly thing to do. My lady. This movie lives rent free in my head. Is this a Disney Channel original movie, Zapped? I haven't made a Disney Channel movie in a while. Maybe I should do it about this one. Zapped? What's it about? Zapped movie. It's got two and a half stars. It could be good. Okay, this looks like a different movie. I think I clicked on the wrong Wikipedia page. Zapped is a 1982 American teen sex comedy. Okay, nope, wrong one. For sure. Yeah, you know that Disney Channel original teen sex comedy? Although this one also seems to have a pretty bad score on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> so maybe I should look into that as well. Disney zapped. 16 year old Zoe Stevens is a skilled dancer, having a hard time adjusting to a new school, a new klutzy dance squad, a new stepdad, three new rowdy stepbrothers, and an unruly dog. But things change when a dog training app on her smartphone begins to somehow control all the bullshit. Boys. What is with every Disney Channel original movie being about trying to make the opposite sex perfect? There's like How to Build a Better Boy, Pixel Perfect, and now this, where it's like, I'm gonna create the perfect boy, I'm gonna create the perfect girl, I'm gonna control the boys. Someone on the Disney writing team has like a god complex or something. <laughs> they're like having a board meeting and they're like, okay, so what, what can we make movies about? What are things that teens struggle with? Like asking out your crush, trying to find yourself, and then some guy in the corner's like, playing god and creating the perfect teen. 
seen to be the target of my affection. And then they just listen to him and do that for every movie. All right, well, I think that that's probably good for this video, gang. Um, so thank you for watching. Keep on posting on the subreddit, and I will keep on making videos about the subreddit. I will see you guys next time, and hopefully I'll be posting on the main channel soon as well. My goal for this year is to try to post more and good stuff. So if you're into that, then stay tuned. I'm going to be trying to post more on this channel and the main channel. And um, I've actually hired people to help me post more. So hopefully it all goes well and uh, I'll be making more videos and better videos. So if you're into that, then hit that subscribe button, smash it into pieces and, um, and I'll, and, uh, and bye.